Kew Gardens has a massive collection of different hand dryers. So big that doing other toilets a billion times will result in no title. So I've decided to adopt a similar format to what's used in my lift tours. Here is a tour of the hand dryers at Kew Gardens. First to the toilets at the entrance. The men's used to have Warner Howard MR48 and disabled used to have an Ander Products Series 5000 STS. However, they've all been replaced with Dyson V's when it was refurbished. Now to some smaller toilets to the side. These used to have a combo of Dyson V's and this thing. This toilet was refurbished and now it has purely Dyson V's. Okay now, this is the part of the video where things start to get really strange. The Orangery restaurant has a Dyson Mark II in the men's, but Air Force in the disabled. This Air Force has a date of 2018, but it must have replaced the previous Air Force because I don't see marks for any dryer, let alone a Dyson. I believe these replaced some Bobrick dryers because I remember a very, very long time ago when I visited the first time, they had like Bobrick looking dryers in the, both the men's and disabled. my original video here, the Orangery restaurant was completely refurbished. This includes the toilets, which, you guessed it, have Dyson Airblade V's now. Although the toilet design is still much more interesting than the rest of Kew Gardens. Now to the toilets to the side. The men's used to have some Series 2000 ST hand dryers if I'm not mistaken. The disabled used to have a Series 5000 hand dryer branded as Vent Axia. They've been replaced with, you guessed it, Dyson V's. to the toilets in what used to be the White Peaks Cafe. These haven't been refurbished yet. The men's has a very strange combo. So the men's used to have two automatic Series 5000 hand dryers branded as ULAC. However, one of the hand dryers was replaced a few years ago. What do you think they replaced it with? They replaced it with the push button mole, of course. I love this combo. An automatic hand dryer getting replaced with a push button one. 
Sadly, the new lock was broken. And since my original video here, these toilets have closed until further notice. Now to the disabled toilet. This has an extremely rare variant of the Series 5000. This one actually worked. But the sensor's a bit rubbish. I don't know if the combo in the ladies' toilet is weirder than the combo in the men's. Now to what used to be a play area. There used to be Series 5000s in both men and disabled. When I, well, when I visited, looks like just before it was shut down it had the dreaded SM48. Now the building is completely demolished and is now the replacement to White Peaks. This new building obviously has Dyson V's, so I didn't bother filming. Ah yes, me from two years ago. I have filmed these hand dryers since. This might just be one of the most ridiculous hand dryer replacements of all time. When I originally filmed this hand dryer tour back in 2022, there were a pair of PHS EL 1100s. These are quite nice high speed hand dryers that dry your hands very quickly. But unfortunately these were replaced. And unfortunately not with Dyson V's, nor Air Forces or even a cheap Ike. They were replaced with bloody Anderbranders. I am still lost for words at the ridiculousness of this replacement. Anderbranders don't dry your hands. They warm your hands. The changing places here luckily has a very nice accelerator, but unfortunately it has a loose cover. The accelerator was installed by the company that made the changing places cubicle itself. So I just found these extra toilets at um, Kew Gardens. These aren't, these haven't been refurbished yet. These were not listed on the map. So let me just. So PHS EL, that thing. <laughs> Good dryer. That's unbelievable. What a ridiculous replacement for baby air streams. Um. 
The toilets next to the Cedar Vista are also in the process of being refurbished. I believe there used to be Series 5000 dryers here. Refurbishment complete. Dry videos commencing. The pavilion bar and grill was too busy for me to film, but they have Dyson Airblade DBs instead of Vs. Ah yes, too busy to film. Totally. Now to the toilets next to the pavilion. These haven't been refurbished yet. The men's has a combo of a Series 3000 branded as Vent Axia Power Dry and a Series 5000 branded as Vent Axia Ultra Dry. Unsurprisingly, the Vent Axia Power Dry has now been replaced. What with? Another Ander brander. This time under Vent Axia Easy Dry. That one doesn't work anymore. There are two disabled cubicles of this set. One had a broken hand dryer and the other was broken entirely. Fortunately, there is a separate baby change, which was working. New leg. Hmm. Baby has plastic, there's an aluminium version of this however. I'll give this a bad chance. It's just a stream of warm air. Now to some secret toilets. These have some Dyson Airblade DBs built in 2018.
Now to the gallery, which has two cubicles, both of which have under Series 2000 ST hand dryers, under Newlec branding. Unfortunately, both of these no longer work. To make up for it, here's some extra recordings of hand dryers earlier in this tour. Start off with the ultra dry. Twenty eighteen. 